Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I am filming today from inside our new New York office. I've been working here all week. The office has been up and running for a couple weeks and we're just uh, really doing our best to wrap our arms around this market. A little bit of volatility has come back this week, which kind of changes the direction I wanted to take the message this week. We are right now down a couple hundred points in the Dow on Thursday. Market's still open as I'm filming, so who knows what uh, happens from here. But the market yesterday was up 150 points, and on Tuesday was down 100 points. So most of the move down here today is centered around technology. A lot of the big tech names are getting uh, hit rather hard. Yesterday the market rally seemed to have been largely stemmed out of a confidence that the European Central Bank was not necessarily looking to get as hawkish as some had feared to tighten as quickly or, or with the same kind of impact that maybe the prior days seemed to indicate. So you had sort of a monetary driven rally. And then on a Tuesday, I think it was the opposite, it was maybe a little concern around are we perhaps looking at more central bank tightening globally than the market has been pricing in. So a lot of things moving around, and I've written quite a bit about this in the past, but this volatility is normal, it's just that we've had none of it. And so the abnormality of compressed volatility has at least uh, worn off over these last three days. Fundamentally though, we do go in in a couple weeks, in about middle of July, to another earnings season, and that's certainly a more fundamental and, and sustainable factor around how markets will price based on where earnings are and where earnings growth is projected to be. Uh, a lot of activity on the political front this week, uh, if you could call it political, from both Treasury Department and Federal Reserve standpoint, the financials are rallying big this week and they've been a, a laggard here for a couple of months. But you have a big move up. I mean, even in a day like today, all of the financial stocks on my screen are up even as you have a market down 200 points. And the reason for that is that all of the financial firms passed their stress test, their capital uh, plans were approved by the Federal Reserve, so you have a big increase in, in share buybacks and dividends coming from the financial sector. Fundamentally, um, we think that the deregulatory environment that is uh, coming into fray within the Trump administration, but will continue from an enforcement standpoint, as there's more selective enforcement or lack of enforcement around some of the more draconian parts of the prior administration and the Dodd-Frank interpretive uh, uh, realm that existed from a regulatory and, 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 and capital rules standpoint. So we think the financials have a lot of room here and we've focused our exposure there around individual names, higher quality, but nevertheless that have a lot of operational leverage, both in the big bank standpoint and in the regional bank standpoint. Reach out to us if you want to know more what those exposures are actually looking like. Um, the energy sector doing quite well this week. Oil up almost 5%. Of course, they've been down about 20% earlier in the month. Um, but like I said, technology today kind of the laggard. That's a recap of the week. I really encourage you to go to DividendCafe.com to understand what we're thinking about risk, the political environment, and, and just overall market sentiment and psychology. Uh, there, there is no question that there is a lot of uh, pent up angst about where markets will go next. We do believe the global reflation story, which has been somewhat muted, evidenced in bond yields dropping is likely to come back in a fray. You see commodity prices higher this week. But in the meantime, as we say every week, everything about this market environment is begging for investors to be disciplined, to be unemotional, and to stick to an asset allocation plan that mirrors their own investment objectives. That's what we do both tactically and strategically here at the Bonson Group. And frankly, more importantly than how tactical and strategic we are is how emphatic we are in sticking to those asset allocation disciplines. That's our story here with the Dividend Cafe. Have a wonderful weekend. Look forward to coming back to you next week after the 4th of July holiday. And we'll be into the second half of 2017. Thanks for listening.